Dave Roberts now available. Questions from Alana Rizzo, go ahead. Dave, Zach Davies has had some success against your club in the past. Uh, their game two starter tonight, in your opinion, the best way to be effective against him? Um, yeah, Zach, Zach is just, he's a command uh, control pitcher. Um, can throw a strike when he needs to. Um, kind of nibbles and gets you to, get you to chase. Um, I, I think it's just kind of a little bit the same program as last night. Just really try to control the strike zone, um, not panic when you get into deeper into counts as far as chasing, um, just kind of stay to our strengths. You had mentioned staying towards your strength. Do you talk to your players about playing their game versus playing this park? Yeah, um, I, I think that playing our game should certainly win out um, obviously the goal is hit the ball hard and most of the times you'll get rewarded at times last night it didn't happen but I still think that the idea of taking good at bats and squaring up the baseball is the is the best way to go about it so I, I think that collectively our guys all understand that hard to believe that this is the first time your ace will actually ever pitch um, here in, in Arlington obviously 20 minutes from where he grew up what do you like about Clayton Kershaw on the mound tonight and being able to uh, possibly take game two already for you? Um, yeah, I, I think he's excited to, to pitch in his home state um, so close to home. Um, we feel good about any game Clayton takes the mound. Um, coming off his last start, really good, and, and he's in a good place. So I know he's going to be on the attack, and we just got to go out there and, and play good baseball behind him. Thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. In the last round, you mentioned that Julio could be making a start in this series. Are you, do you have a game three starter? Um, we, we don't now. Um, I think that right now everyone's still available um, tonight. And um, so we'll kind of see how today unfolds to make that decision tomorrow. Last night you held down Machado and Tatis. They were one for eight with four strikeouts. If that trend continues, do you like your chances in this series? Is that the key to their offense, to holding those two guys down? That, that's a big part of it. Um, obviously, when you take, you can kind of keep their best two hitters at bay, it gives increases your chances of winning. Um, but those guys are very talented ball players. So, and they've also got a lot of talent uh, up and down that lineup. So we just got to continue to uh, make good, pitch, good pitches and, and play defense behind whoever's uh, making those pitches. But yeah, certainly when you're talking about Tatis Machado, man, they're they're pretty good. Why have you guys had pretty much good success against both those guys this year? Um, yeah, I mean. It's still one of those things that not always does the, the past uh, success or failure determine the future. So I think that right now we're just living in the moment. And I like the guy we have starting tonight. And if Clayton goes out there next few pitches, um, I like our chances. Next question is from John Morosi. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Thanks for the Good time work. here. Um, it looked like Bellinger's at-bats got consistently better as, as the day went along yesterday. What did you see from him as that, as that game wore on? I, I think, Cody, this whole year has been really working through mechanics. But I think that now when you're in the postseason where you, it's just competing and really fighting against the pitcher and in a bat. And um, it's about having a, a plan of attack, an approach. And uh, that's what I'm seeing from him. Um, to be able to spoil pitches, to win a pitch, to take a ball down below, to get to the next pitch, that's what wins out in the postseason. Next question is from Evan Grant. Go ahead. 
Hey, Dave, yesterday I think you mentioned that the ballpark played really big. Um, and so my question would be, uh, does it play too big? Um, I guess it depends who you ask. There's going to be half of the players in the big leagues um, our pitchers and say it plays perfect. And then the other half are going to say it plays too big. So um, it's fair both ways. And so I really, I like the ballpark a lot. Great. Thank you. You got it. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Dave, you mentioned uh, everybody's available tonight. Does that include Dustin May? And how, how fast does he bounce back as a reliever? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to say Dustin is down, but the odds of him, of us going to him tonight are, are obviously very, very small. How tempting is it uh, to make him kind of a, a weapon out of the bullpen and not start him in the postseason? Um, it's certainly, um, I mean, it, it's certainly obviously tantalizing because you see that he can do both and what he can do against um, – a part of a lineup in, in a short burst in leverage obviously has a whole whole lot of value. Um, but I think the, the versatility of, of a Dustin um, adds to just his value. And uh, lastly, what's going on at Dodger Stadium? I think they've hit about 15 home runs today. Uh, you know, I, I recall one of those, I don't know if it was 17, where the, it was a record temperature for October. It's just, I think it's hot there and the ball is flying. Um, those guys are getting it up there. I saw Olsen put a good swing on a ball that almost left the ballpark. So I don't know, man. I, I, th I still believe if you execute pitches, uh, you'll get hitters out. Next question is from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. Yeah, Dave, um, you've seen Clayton um, at his best uh, and even just a tick below. This year he's been so good. What, what, um, what has been the most impressive thing to you about Kershaw this year? And does he seem stronger at this point in the season this year than he has in other years at all? Um, I, I think, Tyler, health obviously is, is most important. Um, I, I think that sequencing his pitches the right way uh, is another variable. Um, and, and also, as far as on the health component, his arm speed is, is as good as I've seen it. And I think that's kind of part of his body's feeling good. So when you're talking about throwing a slider or a curveball to, to get the depth that it needs or the fastball with the life in the zone. So that, that kind of speaks to the body and the arm speed. Thanks. Next question from JP Hornstra, go ahead. Hey Dave, um, back to the idea of the way the ballpark plays for you as the manager, do you find yourself having more conversations where you're like kind of massaging the hitters and just letting them know, like you're doing good, even if the ball isn't going over the fence? I, I would say more in, in a regular season situation where you're looking at call it 275 plate appearances at home. Um, where now all that matters is winning a baseball game. So I don't think that players are too concerned about it. And uh, quickly, who's your backup catcher today? Uh, I would say backup catcher would be Beatty, probably Beatty, I, I would say. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Jorge. Dave, I think I saw Mookie last night on the TV uh, interview saying that the start time was kind of weird last night. Did you get the sense that it was kind of a late start for you guys? Um, I think sort of on the later side, but that's that's a that's a bigger, you know, uh, above me, I guess. And, and so I, I think our guys handle it well. I, I like the 8 o'clock, 8.08 or whatever tonight, uh, looking out considerably better. But because uh, it was late last night, we, we got in late after a four hour game, but our guys will be ready tonight. Do you get the sense that, you know, just being here, the longer you guys are here, the more at home you guys feel and the more comfortable it is and the less, the more routine everything is, the better maybe you guys will play? I think so. Yeah. And in and, and a year and a season where there wasn't a whole lot of routine or a, or a different routine, I think the more we can kind of settle into something that's uh, familiar to us, it will benefit. And did you get a sense that players uh, enjoyed playing in front of people they care about you know, for the first time? I, I did. I did. Um, it, it wasn't a packed stadium, but it was family and loved ones. So uh, both sides, 
you know, you see the Padres families and, and they're yellow and, and wives and you see our family cheering and, and Dodger blue. It, it was great. And I think the players and coaches appreciated it. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, everybody. Nice, guys.